A memorial mass held in Freehold today for Pope Emeritus Benedict. Uh, people gathering just hours after the former pope was laid to rest at the Vatican. The service was led by Bishop David O'Connell, who knew Benedict personally. News 12 New Jersey's Chris Keating had a chance to sit down with the bishop to reflect on the pope. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Bishop David O'Connell presided over the service from inside of St. Bellarmine, throughout offering thoughts on Pope Emeritus Benedict. Lord, I love you. His last words. May they be our present words. And the two men started to form a friendship when Benedict was still known as Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger and O'Connell, president of Catholic University. It wasn't long after that Benedict became Pope in 2005 and then named O'Connell Bishop. He's the reason I'm here. He appointed me to be the Bishop of Trenton. Later, O'Connell would find out Benedict specifically chose the Trenton Diocese for O'Connell so that the new bishop could be close to his ailing mother, located in Langhorne, Pennsylvania. While Benedict will widely be remembered as a conservative and the first to retire from his post in nearly 600 years, O'Connell recalls him as a scholar, having authored 66 books. He told a story in which Benedict offered him his zucchetto, the Pope's hat, as a gift. He took his white zucchetto off his head and gave it to me. And I looked at the Pope and I said to him, can I put it on? <laughs> and he didn't miss a beat. He said, not yet. Overnight, Benedict's remains were buried in the papal tombs under St. Peter's Basilica following a funeral mass. Benedict was not without controversy, accused of mishandling cases of priest abuse while a bishop in Munich. Regarding the scandal, O'Connell thought he was treated unfairly, reminding he was the only pope to ever meet with victims of assault. O'Connell only saw the pope as a kind and gentle man. In his homily today, O'Connell closed with this. Benedict XVI closed his eyes on this world on New Year's Eve. And on New Year's Eve, he opened them to eternity and to see the face of God. In Freehold, I'm Chris Keating, News 12 New Jersey. Benedict was 95 years old. Bishop O'Connell says he wouldn't be surprised if someday Benedict was canonized as a saint.